Okay, so now I'm going to go on to another one called the center front bust level dart. And I can put a dart if I wanted to, it would be kind of wild. If I drew from my bust point to the center here, right? Actually, I'm going to close. I'm going to close all that up and I can put everything into one. So I can take my two dart uh, quarter size sloper and I can turn everything into one. But I have to slash it a couple of times, right? So if I want to do that, I've got to go all the way to this point so that I can close these two, right? And then I'm going to slash this. Right? And now I can really get fun, right? So I can, let's see, these scissors don't want to cut. There we go. All right. So if I wanted to open this all up, I can close this. See, they brought it back to my one. And I can close this one. I would clean that up and true it up. Let's try to make that a little more even. So if I close that, I put everything in to the center front bus line. And that's if I had like a center front seam and I wanted to do something kind of crazy and kooky. But, so I'm slashing twice, right? I'm closing that up. Okay, so you can watch how I did that again. So if you just use this removable tape, it's gonna be a lot easier for you too so that you can take it apart and, and just play with it like that, okay? But I have closed that one up and I have closed this one up. There, okay. So I can put this one down. Now, again, if I wanted to draw the, the bus points, then we'll talk about adding seam allowance. This would come out from the bus point anywhere from, you know, maybe this would only be three quarters because it's close to the bus line. I, I'm not sure until I, make the prototype in muslin and I fit it. But I'm drawing my dart legs that go to the very edge there. Okay, so that is number three. Okay.